What's up, family? It's your boy Jay Growing with Jay. I'm bringing this ginger out the house here. I planted nine rhizomes, and you can see they've been growing. I have not been taking care of this ginger. It is dry as a bone, family. I water this thing when I think about it. I didn't separate it. Normally, I would separate this ginger. But we want to separate it now. I'm going to water it real good, separate it, plant it, and we'll see what we got. Right now, and I say it's probably about three feet tall. All right, fam. I just wanted to show you guys. You can see this is not the healthiest ginger. The leaves aren't the healthiest looking, but they're still pretty strong. The ginger has definitely been growing. And I just soaked it down, try to make it easier to separate. So I'm going to split it up, and I'm going to show you what I got. Look at that family, severely, severely root bound. It's been growing in this uh, seed flat since January the 7th. Today is May the 8th, so that's four months. Almost to the, on the nose, almost on the nose. The ginger actually broke apart pretty well. None of these like tap roots, I guess these are. You really seen that have gotten broken up. This piece right here was actually starting to grow. So I'll probably plant that. But there's eight different pieces I broke off. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And all this light color here, that's all new growth there. All these bright, bright pieces of ginger. You can see that's, that's the new growth. That's the older stuff there. That's what I initially planted. See how that skin was on that? That's all new growth. bring you over here to where I'm be planting this. Now I mended these beds early in the season. These are those little patio growers you get from the box stores. Um, I've grown ginger successfully in these before. If you look at the video I posted of the ginger. This is lemon balm here. I got a lemon balm uh, plant over there. The fall when you see. Somehow it made it all the way over here, some seeds. And this is chamomile. I planted chamomile. I brought a chamomile plant, I want to say roughly four or five years ago. And every year since, chamomile pops up in my garden somewhere. And if I need it, I'll just transplant it to where I want it to be. And that's that. So I'm plant two in each of these. Water them in real good. I mended these, like I said, a while ago. And I apologize, I was not planning on shooting a video. At best, I thought maybe I'd do a short. Just do this real quick. But uh, it, couldn't, it couldn't be a short. It was just too much. Okay, these are done. These three have been planted and watered in. And I just put them just below the, um, or just above the top of the plant. So I buried it just above the little new growth there. Like this one here. Let's see if I can focus some. There we go. I will stop that one where this is just peeking out just a tiny bit. Ginger likes to be grown uh, in wide, shallow pots. From what I understand, more so than narrow and deep, so it can spread out. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go over to the garden. All right, family, I got all of my ginger buried. See, I have some more of these uh, patio growing baskets, uh, porch growing wicker buckets. I don't know what they call them. But you see, I have some more here. And I have two gingers, 
also planted over here. So that's basil, ginger, borage, and this is my lone turmeric that grew. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like and subscribe, family. I holler.